everyone, I'm Denise Love, and here's a little preview of what we're doing today. So let's get started. I've got another art haul for us today. I got my sketch box in, so I thought I'd open it along with a few other things I went to the art store for this week and a special little stencil package that I got. Um, so I thought we would just start looking at some of this and then we'd see what my sketch box uh, was this month and then we'll make something fun. So this right here is some stencils that I got from PM Artist Studio. And this little site is two ladies that have a small business and I love supporting small businesses. And when I saw some of their stencils, I got very excited. So I ordered some fun stuff for them. And these come so delightfully packaged and I can't wait to try out what we've got here and then they send some yummy little extras which i think is fun so it keeps moving here um so in the little package that they send with this is a couple of little original painted collage pieces um how fun is that um, and a little tiny stencil which is absolutely perfect i don't think they could have picked a better one to give me because i'm like oh look at that and pm artist studios and i think that's the two ladies names patricia and mariah um, and they have a whole bunch of fun things that they do in addition to this site they have a facebook group and they do lives on youtube and they just are delightful so I love that their stencils are nice and heavy duty. It says on their site that they are 74 pound Yupo paper, I believe. Um, but check this out. This one right here might be my favorite. Um, Cause when I went on their site and I saw that, I'm like, oh, I totally need that one. Um, and this one's called Wonky Net. And I liked that it was long and skinny. It was an unusual size, which now I can pick any part of that to use in my paintings. So I love that. So this is Wonky Net Mask 4x11. And I like how they have it with this kind of like a, 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 a wrapping here telling you what it is so that you can kind of keep them in there and you'll know what you got. And then I bought a second, um, I got a second wonky mask net, but I got a different size because it's, it's different in proportions and the way that it looks um, compared to the tall skinny one. And because I thought this is going to be like a new instant favorite, I wanted two of them. <laughs> um, and then they have like the mask part that they cut that out of. How cool is that? So I'm excited about the two wonky nets. Um, and then dashed. Look at that. So I love that. It's like a uh, different sized brush marks i thought that was a perfect stencil for what i do and then this super fun turtle stained glass look i thought that was super interesting look at that super fun so this site i'm going to link everything below the video for you um the wonky net is my most favorite <laughs> new stencil i believe i can just feel it so we're definitely going to use those today um, and you can check them out on their website pm artist studio and i will link that below the video but these are super fun and i like the different designs and things that they create okay and then i went to the art store and i've been using in some of my new youtubes and shorts um, my mica my gold mica ink in a fine line applicator tip and it has worked out so amazing like crazy good like almost like it as much as my dip pens and I put the ink in these little um, applicators with a pipette so I just get some gold ink in here and pipe it right into the applicator and that makes it completely perfect and easy to use and then we are ready to pull the tip off and I like this because these have a yummy sharp piece in the tip that goes down and keeps your tip from drying out and then these are perfect for getting our ink to make different things for us and so I'm super excited about the fine liners. So I got um, a little double pack so I could put the silver in here, maybe a black in here. I might pick a color. You can pick any of your inks really. I, I really want the silver in here because I'm not as happy 
painting the silver with a paintbrush or with a pen and I'm hoping that I'm gonna love the silver with the fine uh, line applicator um, and these come in two tips fine tip standard tip and I have both these tips that I've put the gold in because I put it in the standard one and it works so good that I was like holy cow I need the fine one and then I found in my drawers the fine tip one and so out of the two um, both of them work great but for the ink um, I like the finer line that I get from the fine tip but I do think it's good to have both sizes so I ordered myself another little set um, so these are fantastic and you will love them and then and get some pipettes while you're there because trying to pour that ink into a the little bottle would be kind of hard but that pipette made it really easy so i'm going to link all that below the video for you then i thought oh i want some of these woodies and these are um, three in one woodies which they're great big fat uh, pencils or pastels or you know they're kind of like the neo color two crayons um, and they a lot of times you see these advertised for like kids but they're not really kids these are for us <laughs> look how big these are whoa these are even bigger than i thought <laughs> wow that is like my little inner five-year-old came right out <gasps> Oh, so smooth. Did you just see how smooth that was? Whoa. Okay, this is going to definitely be a new staple for me. And I'm just going to draw all over this sketch box. box. Um, water soluble. Let's just push those around. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of like exactly like the uh, Neo Color 2s that we're used to. But whoa. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling that okay super fun um, so these are like using like I think it says 18 pencils at the same time in the width and they're water soluble and it does something else maybe it's just creamy bold color I'm not sure I'm gonna have to look on the <laughs> package or maybe I can look let's see genius three in one color pencil watercolor and wax crayon all in one soft and rich color application high brilliance and color intensity even on dark papers this set contains 18 colors and one special sharpener um, the wood is from sustained forest culture and it is the sharpener is child safety sharpener so I'm glad they sent a sharpener because I don't know how I'd sharpen that great big pencil <laughs> But what did you think of that? Holy moly. I'm super excited about these now that I opened them. They're so gigantic. All right. So yummy, yummy Stabilo Woodies. That's going to be super fun to use. I also got um, some paper because somebody else said it was one of their favorite papers. And I always like trying out other people's favorites. So I've got some Saunders Waterford. Uh, watercolor paper that I thought I would try in the white and then I got some yummy so flat matte acrylics and if you've watched a few of my um, opacity videos or the videos where I'm mixing watercolor and gouache absolutely obsessed with matte opaque paints and even with my acrylic paint I mix the acrylic paint with gesso to give it some grit and to make it matte rather than shiny and so i might have heard of these several years ago and just never even gave it a second thought or thought about what it was but i thought this is its moment for me i'm going to play with some matte acrylics and i just picked up as many colors as I thought were my favorite and then a little six pack of colors just to give it a try out and to use it in conjunction with some other colors maybe to be my stenciling uh, pile because these are little um, jars of paint that I can then maybe put my stencil into uh, my sponge into for stenciling so I like that it's a little jar and I'm pretty excited to dig into these so flat golden matte acrylic paints and I just picked up a variety of colors that I just liked and then if I like them enough I may go back and complete my set I got these at the the dick blick for individuals and for the little boxes but I've seen a few more colors uh, so we might we might have to check those out with our stencils <laughs> All right, so let's also pull out 
the sketch box and I haven't even looked and I did not see a spoiler. Somebody said, oh, mine came and I thought, oh, don't tell me what it is. I haven't opened mine yet. So let's just see what we got this month. Oh, a gouache box. Of course, I just talked about gouache. <laughs> All right, we got elm green. Oh, good, I don't have that color. Oh, super excited now. We got a white and we got gardenia yellow. Yeah, I'm not a yellow person. And then I got some iron oxide red. That's a good color. We always get a fun sticker, so I like those. And what else did we get here? Gouache premium box. I'm pretty excited now because the gouache is perfect. Oh, look at this. So I've been using in some of my little short videos um, the fun little square tan pad, um, which I liked it so much. And you can see the little shorts. Uh, on the YouTube video under the short videos, but I liked that tan paper so much that I ordered um, a couple more little pads to do my little art in a minute shorts. Um, and so multimedia, 135 pound, double sided and textured by Canson in a pretty tan. So I'm actually very excited to see that because I've been enjoying colored paper anyway. And then we also got a yummy brush. This is a Filbert number six, so that's going to be, I actually like that size quite a bit. Um, look at that. That's a good size. So I actually like that. So Filbert number six, and then we got a pen. This is the Acrylograph Archer and Olive. What is that? This unique pen is filled with water-based acrylic ink, and it's perfect for fine lines and intricate details. <laughs> All right, super cool. A plus on that box. All right. Yay for the sketch box this month. All right. So I think what we should do is create something fun, maybe on our papers with some gouache. I got a few other paint brushes over here too that I almost forgot to mention. I, I wanted with these so flats, a few acrylic brushes. This is the one I have. That's mine already. I got an extra Princeton quill number four because that's one of my favorite paint brushes. And then these are like uh, good for the acrylic paint. And I thought that would be good for playing with these so flats and doing some mark making on little abstracts. I got a Princeton Umbria flat um, number two, which is a quarter inch flat brush. Um, so I think that'll be nice. It's a little stiffer than a watercolor brush. I also got a uh, Princeton Umbria Filbert number four, which looks very similar to my new little sketch box brush. I like it. And then I got two tiny little brushes that I thought would be fun for mark making. I like tiny, tiny. Look at those. I got the Princeton Velvet Touch uh, Spotter 5 slash 0 and the Chisel Blender number 0. And I just thought, ooh, yummy for little tiny dots and marks and lines and stuff. So those are going to be real fun to play in and try out. So I don't even... I don't think I even need to get everything out of the way. Let's just go ahead and paint something and I might open this other one. We'll see. So let's see what this marker is here. Let's open it up. Let me get some. Let me see if I can get. There we go. All right. So it looks like you got to start this or prime it or do something. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You got to prime it. So it's kind of like our Posca pens. Prime it and get, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay. All right. I like it. So let's do a little art in a minute here on our, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Acrylograph, Archer and Olive. I'm going to have to look that up and see if other colors are available because I like that it's acrylic. And that was a nice set of marks. Like, seriously. All right, let's get our little, let's get a little palette paper out here and see. How about, let's try this red. Actually, I'm kind of, yeah, yeah, let's just do it. Tiny bit of this red oxide, iron oxide red. Tiny bit of this green. Maybe I'll put out this white. I don't have any interest in that yellow, so we're just going to put it over there. <laughs> Let's 
try out this little paintbrush. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I'm just going to, oh, 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 look at that color. Look at that color. Oh, that's some yumminess. I'm going to come back in with a, a little more. Oh, so pretty. Now I don't want to put the green in that one. All right, I'm, I'm kind of loving that one like it is. Let's do another one. <laughs> you see why these art in a minute pieces are so fun? I mean, they really do take a minute or so. You got to let some stuff dry. But other than that, <gasps> ooh, I love this color too. All right, so I didn't let that completely dry, and I do see some color kind of come out of that, but it's really pretty. Like, look at that. Like, real pretty. So this one I must have let dry better because this one did not reactivate in the water at all. And I like playing with opacity. So in something like this, I like to get a little bit thinner, maybe a little bit thicker, and let those opacities kind of do what they're going to do. Oh, see, now that's some pretty stuff. And let's just try out one of our little tiny point ones here and just see, like, if I wanted to do, like, some little bitty marks. Oh, yeah, see, that's good. This is a tiny little brush, so it's not, it's not going to be hard to handle. You can get in here and make all kinds of fun little marks and dots <laughs> super fun Wah! look at that when you get close all right so little tiny detail brushes perfect for making some marks dots and lines if you don't want to dip pen like i like those are good i do see like the brush is so tiny and those little brushes are so fine up there i can see how you could wear that brush out pretty fast too um so oh, oh, what do you think of those i'm thinking yay for those i also kind of want to test out this paper while we're here so let's go ahead and open our paper and give us a little test a little test run on the paper And these gouaches are the Holbein gouache. I'm excited about the Holbein gouache. I love that. Okay, so this Saunders Waterford paper has 20 sheets in it. And this is a 12 by 9 pad. So it's a nice size pad. And it's got a cover sheet on it. So I'm just going to... Look how pretty those are. I'm just going to take this cover off. Um... Yeah, with my palette knife, I'm just kind of cutting that cover off there so that we get to an actual piece of paper and kind of feeling like I wouldn't mind a little set of minis with maybe some of these so flat paints. So why don't we do that? I'm going to tape this off. So I've got some painter's tape. I want these to have a little lip on them. So I'm going to go ahead and paint a lip on it too. And I'm just eyeballing it. This is painter's tape. And I just don't worry about getting it perfect. But if these are important pieces and you're doing for something important, then spend a little extra time getting that those edges perfect. I just wanted to try this out and see what it does. I could try it out with watercolors, I guess, but you know, I like using watercolor paper for just about everything, really, because um, I like the texture. But you could use like a mixed media paper with acrylics, and that would be good, or Bristol paper, and that would be good. Um, I'm just going to, this is a really fine texture on this one, so it's not. And it's a cold press, so that's kind of nice. Um, but it's a fine, it's a finer texture than something like my Canson. Like that's a real fine texture on that. All right, so what we could do is mix gouache and watercolor. Why don't we do that? I mean, gouache and these acrylic paints. Let's see <laughs> what we can get. All right, so or we could just go crazy 
and just pick out a few of these colors and just see like what do we get what do we want to do oh no like what do we want to do all right i am feeling like let's do the gouache let's mix it with the gouache and i'm going to go ahead and use my uh, brush that's the raphael zero because i've already already used these two that and that quill and oh, oh. <laughs> Look how gorgeous this is. <gasps> Man, I just love this kind of green. I do love this green. All right, so let's just paint a little foursome here. Let's just go for it. Be brave. <laughs> I just want to just leave this color on here. It's so pretty. Not even mix it with the other stuff. Oh. And I do like this paper so far. I like... I like how it's, what I like about papers mostly is when they repel the color slightly so that it takes a little more water to work that paint into the paper. And that gives you more work time in your painting. Um, so I really like that. And then let's see, what do we got over here? Let's open this little set so I know what all the colors are. Um, yeah, I like it when you have that extra work time. And I don't know if that's a cotton paper or not. Is that a cotton paper? Because I love cotton papers. Let's see. Made using 100% cotton and the highest quality paper making materials. So that is a cotton paper. So I think that's why I already like it because I like the way cotton papers um, look versus cellulose papers or papers made with um, partial wood pulp. And I've even gotten to where I don't even care for the partial cotton papers. I kind of want it to be all cotton, but that's just my own, my own two thoughts there. Okay, so got some. I tried to get all different colors, but it looks like I've duplicated one. Didn't do that very good, did I? Oh, I duplicated two. Oh no! <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, what about purple oh green and purple because i've got some purples i've got uh diox diazine violet per violet deep and red violet okay what about what about some purples let's let's go ahead and try this this is that violet deep <gasps> look at that color oh my gosh and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dip it down into this little thing rather than put it on a little palette because it's a good size. Ooh, oh, <laughs> look at that color! Oh my goodness, look at that color! And I was really in my mind hoping that this is gonna be you know basically like using a gouache uh, because it's gonna be matte uh, acrylic paint, and I should still be able to play with like opacities and. Um, stuff like that so we're just going to give this a little try out here and see what we can get in our random little abstract pieces and then i feel in our future some yummy color through a stencil on top got ourselves some white here i might go in the white with my quill I'm just playing. I'm just painting kind of intuitively here. I'm not really worried about where everything's going and not getting super stressed about what I'm going to end up with. It's kind of my favorite way to paint and I like doing more than one because there's always going to be one or two you don't like and then maybe you're just searching for that one that works out. That's kind of my goal, the one that works out. And that might be a good stenciling white. It's titanium, but it is, well, it is semi-transparent. So maybe not, I don't know. We'll have to think about that. And then, what else do we got over here? Let's be crazy. I don't wanna be too crazy though. Maybe this green. This one is dark green. Just do our little green and purple palette here. Which I know that sounds weird, but green and purple, they're on that color wheel. I've got a color wheel over here. Green and purple, you know, they're kind of, if we're at this purple here, and we're going yellow and purple is kind of opposite, so this would be more like 
purple burgundy and this green if we wanted to do like split complementary so be nice if I could pull in some of this burgundy color now that we've looked at the color wheel there huh so definitely a color palette that I would not have picked if I was normally just picking colors I should have gone back to one of my color palette cards and we should have <laughs> did this with a color palette card what do you say see now I've been doing color my whole life and I know you're thinking like oh you're gonna know color so much better than anybody else but let me tell you I think the more you know the more you know you don't know and it actually becomes like harder Ooh, look at that color oh. um, the more you know the more you know you don't know and then I actually find randomly enough color can be very frustrating even if you've studied it for you know 30 years and you know maybe maybe you are the expert and it doesn't frustrate you but for most of us I feel like we get frustrated I get frustrated <laughs> all right let's find where we have put oh you know what wait a minute let's get some <laughs> let's pull these woodies out these are gonna be really crazy um, they aren't completely dry, but maybe they're close. Let's do something crazy here. <gasps> oh, look how good these draw on here. Oh my gosh. I'm going to do some crazy little great big marks. These definitely even kind of look like we've brought out our inner five-year-old here um, with this crazy color combination, but that's okay we can just ride that wave it just is what it is can draw little shapes could do little designs all right we got our little stencils over here and I'm kind of feeling like this one maybe the other one one of these wonky nets ah, the wonky net is what excited me the oh let's do that let's do the wonky net and I feel like we're going to be able to see through this so flat, but I'm going to try it anyway. And I just got a dry sponge. And really, I could shake this up and then get it out of the lid. Let's do that. Let's shake it up. And then we could <laughs> use our lid as our little paint thing. Okay, let's see what we're going to get here. Okay, this paint is... A little wetter than I was thinking so that might go under the stencil here for this first one but we're just gonna give it a try and see what we get <laughs> okay so this paint is very wet I do like uh, drier paints actually for my stenciling so I think what I'm gonna do is pull out my Liquitex titanium white that's a little thicker um, and I got this one because it's not transparent um, because I wanted to try it out and it is nice and thick on my palette and so I think it might be a little better for stenciling you know people say what's the best paint the best paints whichever one does what you want it to do and I tend to like a dry sponge the little artist sponge and I like a thick paint oh yeah see that's better that's exactly what I was hoping for a little bit thicker some of my paint underneath is still a little bit wet but that's okay oh see look at that I should let these dry but that's okay I was having some fun and I wanted to move along <laughs> I like that one <laughs> all right super fun anything else we feel like this needs they've got quite a bit going on there and we could always oh okay could go ahead and show you what the gold looks like um, on these because why not <laughs> I've got the little tip out here already just to kind of take a look at what these kind of do look how Oh, just gonna go crazy here. I'm not even <laughs> trying to do anything specific. 
I just want you to be like brave and just jump on something and do something crazy. Okay, that was fun. I do kind of like the, the big circles though. I kind of liked that. Like that was fun on that one. You can do these with colors too. It don't have to be with gold. I just thought it would be fun for this gold to start a shining as we looked at the light. All right, these are actually crazy. I've gone crazy on these and now they're kind of wet. So let's let this dry for a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, I know. Oh, did you see how nice that tape just came off that? Like no paper tearing at all. That's always a good sign. Just came right off. Look at that. <laughs> Part of tape peeling is the tape you use. So I use a painter's tape or an artist's tape. And the other part is the paper. And this is a cotton paper and it is just not tearing my paper at all. Like one tiny bit. I'm totally impressed. And I like doing little minis like this to test out new supplies. And these are definitely a hot mess today. But now we saw a whole bunch of different supplies and I think what I'm going to do is get my palette knife and get this off of here and move my paint out of my way. Um, so I just put the palette knife kind of in the edge where um, it's got an opening on the end. You can see the opening there. Um, and then just let the palette knife do the work so that I'm not tearing the paper. And then I'm going to cut these into their little pieces. And I know that was a hot mess to start with, but look when it's framed out, how good it looks. <laughs> Not my usual style, but that was definitely fun playing with these. And I think my gold ink might be a tiny bit wet, so we'll just try to be careful and not smear ink. There we go. These would make fantastic cards. And I can already tell by looking at these that that matte paint is definitely like matte matte, like the gouache. Um, so that was super fun experimenting with that. I actually like the little gold shimmer in there. Like I don't see, you know, if you can see that really good, but the gold shimmer is really good. And our crazy colors. Um, I love this one actually and our wonky mask. So I'm definitely gonna be using my stencils quite a bit more. Um, yummy little art in a minute pieces. And those have become some of my favorite ways to play is make marks, put a color or two, do a mark or two, and then call it done. And if you try some of these little mixed media um, or watercolor hot press in a toned color, I've really, really been liking those. Look at those two pieces there. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all the different little fun goodies in today's art haul and the stuff that came in the sketch box, which <laughs> totally a winner this month. And I will see you next haul. And if you want to show me what you're working on, you're welcome to tag me on Instagram at Two Little Owls Art. You can come join the Facebook group that I have for art people. I link that below the video also, and you can come show off what you're working on. And I'll see you next time.